Okay, right. hello. People wanted me to do a tutorial on how to use the input viewer. So thanks for Tiki Tack for giving this to me in the first place. You would go to this site, I'll probably have it linked in the description, and you click this one and download it. Whenever you have it downloaded, you would go to your files, downloads, and then you would right click or the file that you downloaded and then you would extract it. But I already extracted it, so you would just extract the files. Here, let me just do it again. Yeah. You would right click this and then you would extract all. And then once you do that, you would go into the extracted file and the one you would choose is this one. It's I think it should be the first one, but it's just VR input viewer. You would choose that. And then what I have on my uh, desktop, I have a shortcut and then all to do. Well, first, before I even show that, when you do use this, it didn't work for me at first because you have to turn this one setting on. You have to, uh, I believe you changed this to open VR. Yeah. It shouldn't be on WebSocket. It should be on open VR. Also, if you just want the just the controller, like the bindings to show, I don't have my controllers on or on yeah on right now or my headset on, so it's not showing anything. But if you don't want this to show, like your like uh, what is it called placement or like where your controllers are you would just click this and it would hide it and only show you the like your input like your buttons and joysticks and stuff but also I'll show you how to do this at the end I'm sure people know how to do that but what how I use it for OBS is I have it right here it's just a window capture with that window and I set it to the right of my screen as an overlay and then if you want to know how to do this you would right click your desktop you would do new shortcut you go to browse wherever your file is for me it's just in downloads it's in here and then it's VR input viewer you'd click that okay and then it would automatically do that so Hopefully, people understand this. I don't understand how you don't know how to extract a file and put it on your screen. It's pretty simple stuff. Bye-bye.